Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States. Good day, fellow Americans and Cheeto lovers, and welcome. Welcome to my new YouTube page called Undercover Lies. I have named it Undercover Lies to hopefully expose the biggest liars in the Trump administration, those involved in the plot to overthrow the legal government of the United States. Of course, we cannot go any further without exposing the biggest liar of them all and the topic of my first video, Ex-President Donald Trump, or should I say, as I think, Ex-Resident of America, since all he did was hold the place of a real president until, of course, one was elected. I hope that you're all in good spirits today because hopefully you might uh, learn something. Trump's MAGA and uh, Cheeto lovers, I promise to use small words so as not to confuse you too much, since you are whom I am trying to reach, along with anyone that will or has come to love the Cheeto King himself, Donald Trump. As I have tried to insinuate above, I am starting this site in order to help those afflicted with Trumpitis to regain their sanity and wherewithal, hopefully. Trumpitis can and has been defined as people who follow Trump, no matter what is said or reported about him in any and all his illegal and irresponsible, sometimes illogical decisions that he uh, happens to make, such as his decision to start an insurrection on January 6th, 2021. And don't get me wrong, folks, it was an insurrection. The Senate Judiciary Committee report is the most comprehensive look so far at the former president's assault on democracy, asking the Justice Department nine times to undermine the election result. I'm wondering what your takeaway is it. Well, that there has been a coup led by the President of the United States to undermine the Constitution and possibly and likely a criminal conspiracy as well. Just look back at the tapes of the attack on the Capitol. Rampaging, waving for the first time inside this capital. Confederate flag that symbolized the cause to destroy America. Was that about love and hugs and everyday tourists as your fierce leader Donald Trump insinuates now? I think that we Democrats and Republicans cannot allow Trump to run for election in any office, much less as President of the United States of America ever again. As loyal Americans and loyal defenders of the Constitution that has governed us for over 200 years, can we do otherwise? If Orange Face ever gets back into office, he will trash a constitution and install himself as America's first dictator. He is already trying to install his psychophants in every office from local to federal to help him if he runs in 2024 to overturn any fair election so that he can install himself as president again or as dictator for the first time. Do you want to live in a democracy or a dictatorship? I know that I don't. Ask yourselves that question. Would you rather live under a dictatorship ruled over by Trump or under a democracy ruled over by a president freely elected by the people of the United States? He tried to overthrow our democracy and install himself as an authoritarian dictator. I call him a dictator because he is and would have been a dick and a traitor if he had succeeded. We loyal and patriotic Americans need to vote for every Democrat running for office in 2022 to ensure that the Republican psychopaths don't install him again as president whether he wins fairly or not. Look at how long Trump was trashing and calling our elections fraudulent before the election was ever started or finished. Then on election night in 2020, November 3rd, he had his idiot psychophants, lawyers, Goliani and Powell get together and lie on national TV that the election was stolen from crybaby loser Trump. Trump's effort to subvert the election results has taken on a new and more dangerous and ominous turn as the Washington Post puts it tonight, quote, the president is now trying to remain in power with a wholesale assault on the integrity of the vote. That gets us to today. And today may be remembered when all the craziness is over for one thing. And it's this visual. Rudy Giuliani's hair dye started dripping down his face after an outbreak of flop sweat during a press conference which will only be remembered for conspiracy theories and dark liquid. Of course, this was and continues to be a lie, no matter how Trump tries to spin it. Well, the election is over. It has been over. And today, President Trump's own attorney general spoke the long known truth. There is no evidence of widespread voter fraud that would change the outcome of the election. This is from Bill Barr. 
He made the break from the president in an interview with the Associated Press, said FBI investigated and could find no proof. Still, Mr. Trump continues to insist without any evidence at all that the election was somehow rigged, fraudulent. Being a billionaire must have its advantages, though. You can cry and cry and everybody listens. Did you know that Mr. Trump is noted to have a bank account in China? China, the country he always denounces in his speeches. A report this week, which was referenced, does indicate that your company has a bank account in China. So how can voters know that you don't have any foreign conflicts of interest? If he is a billionaire, then so is my Cordy. Don't I wish. Mr. Trump loves to think himself as a family man. He has three adult children that worked as advisors to the ex-president in the White House. Of course, they are Ivanka, Don Jr., and the ever dim Eric. They supposedly gripped in millions of dollars while their father was in office. <laughs> I guess his father likes sons, and apparently daughter, in Ivanka's case. I'd say that Trump treats his sons and daughters differently. Trump treats his sons with disdain, and apparently refuses to hug them in public, and I think otherwise as well. And when we do, we can not only keep making America great again, but we can make liberals cry again. Get out there and do it, Wisconsin! Get out there and do it! Thank you, guys! Poor little guy still can't get a hug from Papa Bear. All the hate all the slaps in the face, and still no affection. The only sibling that Trump seems to love, and maybe a little bit too much, is Ivanka. But his love for her seems to dip into the air of incest, as he is seen to pat her with both hands on her hips at the Republican National Convention. What a daddy he is. A family man in name only. So what else, in my opinion, is in Trump's makeup? Well, he paints his face orange to hide his age. That is a fact. It takes work to get what we've come to appreciate as the POTUS's signature glow. And reports suggest that he does that work himself. Chris Blevins was a makeup artist for every presidential candidate in the 2016 New Hampshire primaries, except Donald Trump. She told Rack that she never saw Trump with a makeup artist or hairstylist. She added, Donald Trump does his own hair and makeup, maybe a little blotting powder. Want more facts? He is known to be a compulsive liar. According to the New York Times, he lied over 30,000 times while he was in office. He tax dodger. He inflated his assets when asking for loans, but deflated the same assets when paying his taxes. In this edition of the Red and Blue Political Roundup, President Trump is defending himself against accusations that he dodged nearly half a billion dollars in taxes. A New York Times investigation claims the president was involved in multiple instances of tax fraud. They include allegedly decreasing the reportable value of gifts from his parents during the 1990s. The report also states President Trump received hundreds of millions of dollars in real estate holdings from his father. That contradicts the president's narrative of being a self-made billionaire. Well, he wants to be a dictator just like the object of his admiration over the years while he was in office, his uh, love interest, Putin. I always thought that Putin meant that put his dick in Trump's ass and that is why Trump loved Putin so much. There are many instances of Trump's authoritarianism, which we will go further into over the next few weeks as we delve into Trump and his authoritarian lean. Suffice it to say for now that he proved he wanted to dictate over us during his administration and currently. So let's uh, talk about his idiotic and authoritarian moves. His clearing of the street in front of the White House of legally protesting Americans so that he could walk to a church to play that he was a religious man. But he held the Bible upside down, that jerk. His attempted destruction of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, that has stood against extremism for the last 70 or something years. But Trump wanted its destruction and almost succeeded. For some 70 years, NATO has been viewed as a crucial pillar of stability by U.S. presidents and lawmakers, Democrats and Republicans alike. But Trump's views on the alliance during his 2016 campaign broke with that bipartisan consensus. Let me tell you, NATO is obsolete. It was 67 years or it's over 60 years old. Uh, it is many countries doesn't. His attempted recall of all of our troops stationed overseas in staged locations to immediately be ready to counter Moscow's or China's aggressions. These troops are pre-staged along with their supplies.
New reporting from Axios about former President Trump's final weeks in office, including an 11th hour push to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Germany, and the entire continent of Africa. If Trump had succeeded, our troops would have been too far away to respond within hours, and our enemies would have had the advantage. We don't want to give them any advantage at all, but Trump did. Okay, that's enough for today. I just wanted to give you a taste of what is to come on my station. If you like what you hear, or even if you don't, please comment below, but please, please be civil. Also, please subscribe if you want to hear more about how authoritarian Trump was and how he tried any and every way that he could to stay in office, no matter the cost to America or to us Americans. Continues to spot the lies of I won, I won, I won. So if you want more of Trump and his Cheeto-loving psychophants, please follow me and smash the bell to be notified about my next video, which should be out next week. Goodbye, and be safe. Remember, we need your vote.